Heading into round 10 of the GT Planet Fantasy Series will bring us to Eldora Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio. It's a dirt track and it's only a half or it's only about a half a mile. Sounds like Bristol on dirt. The only difference is you can't go four wide at Bristol. And Bristol can support 43 cars, whereas Eldora can only support about 27. The old Eldora version that supported 43 was a mess anyways because they'd crash every time they got near each other with that many cars on such a crazy track. So how it's going to work for being a points race is that the field will be split randomly into two categories. Category A and Category B. There's absolutely nothing different between them. It'll be 24, or it'll be 22 cars, or excuse me, 21 cars versus 21 cars making the total 42 cars. The top 10 from the, the uh, race A and race B will then progress forward. They are guaranteed at least a 20th place points paying position. The final th those final 20 cars will battle out in the, um, the long version of the race, which is about which will be the longest version of the race, the main heat race. And the losing uh, cars will then forward into the losers category where the two losing groups will battle it out for points paying positions 20 through 42. That race is just as long as the first race. However, the two, the, the two initial races are a shorter distance. What this does is it makes it so that they can be uh, we can have all 43 cars race in one day and still pay out all points paying positions. To make it clear, there will be two races in the very beginning. Split field. The top 10 from the first race and second race will then progress and race each other in a third race. A fourth race will then be run after that to determine who gets 21st through 42nd. The losers race. Another thing with Eldora is that the racing is very crazy and there is sometimes a lot of contact. Contact is common, the damage you get depends on how hard somebody hits you. Chrome horns, door slams, it's all going to be seen at Eldora, it's just part of the dirt track racing. When you put stock cars on a dirt track, you're bound to have some bumping and banging. Caution flags are expected, so is a lot of uh, questionable moves. and pun intended, dirty racing. This race is probably going to be one of the highlight races of the year simply because the AI on this race is on this racetrack is phenomenal. They run three, four wide, they'll run the outside, they'll run the middle, they'll run right against the wall. Either way, it'll work beautifully, or it should anyways, with a couple of crashes. Barring that, it'll be a great race with a lot of passes and a lot of bumps and bangs. When it comes time to pit, if they need to pit, the pit road is a very unique, probably the most unique in the entire video game. Given any mod I've ever seen before, I've never seen something quite like this. The two pit, this pit lane is split in half. Half the pit boxes are on the left, half the pit boxes are on the right. So if there is a pit stop, it'll be hectic. I look forward to watching this race, and I hope you do as well when we head down to Eldora this week for round 10 of the GT Planet Fantasy Series.